Hello, I am Dr. Sai Kiran. I am a consultant neonatologist working at Fernandez Hospitals. Jaundice is a common occurrence in newborns and parents often have many questions and concerns regarding the newborn jaundice and its treatment. I am here with you today to shed some light and share my opinion with you on frequently asked questions about newborn jaundice. As a parent, when you hear about jaundice, you will be worried about some infection or liver disease as the main cause of jaundice. But thankfully, in newborn jaundice, most of the time there is no liver disease or infections. In fact, in our body, we constantly produce jaundice-causing pigment called bilirubin, which is generated from the dying red blood cells. This bilirubin is cleared from the blood by the liver. In newborns, due to increase in the red blood cell mass, there is more production of bilirubin and due to immaturity of liver, the blood bilirubin is cleared slowly. The pigment then gets deposited in the skin and eyes, leading to yellowish discoloration and the occurrence of jaundice. This is especially true for the first one to two weeks of life in the newborn period. Yes, 80% of the newborns have some degree of jaundice during the first one to two weeks of life. In certain situations, like an RH negative blood group mother having an RH positive baby, or in conditions like prematurity and low birth weight, the babies tend to have a slightly higher jaundice level. In most newborns, the jaundice is harmless. But when the blood bilirubin value is very high or rises rapidly, the bilirubin pigment tends to get deposited in the brain, causing damage to the brain cells. This can lead to immediate problems like weakness and poor feeding, and in the long term, problems like impaired hearing and altered brain growth and development. There is no proven evidence that sunlight exposure prevents newborn jaundice. There is also no medicine that can be taken or given to prevent it. After the birth of your baby, a pediatrician will check the baby for jaundice by visual examination and also by using a bilirubinometer, a device that measures the skin jaundice level and based on the assessment could prescribe a blood test if required. Since the jaundice in newborn peaks 3 to 7 days after birth, the pediatrician will always ask for a follow-up visit 2 to 3 days after discharge. Yes, breastfeeding the baby is very important. In fact, inadequate breastfeeding can increase the newborn jaundice. It is important to ensure proper latching on the breast and continuing breastfeeding should be maintained. During the hospital stay or in immediate follow-up, if the blood jaundice level crosses a certain threshold on an age-specific nomogram, the treatment is initiated. The decision to begin treatment is taken after considering all the medical aspects of the baby, like the gestational age at birth and birth weight. Coming to the treatment, the treatment involves keeping the baby under a blue light called phototherapy. Here, the baby's eyes are covered and they are mostly exposed to the light naked with just keeping a diaper on their genitals. The concept behind this treatment of phototherapy is that the blue light converts the jaundice pigment in the skin and blood 
to a certain easily excretable form thereby reducing the baby's blood jaundice levels which prevents the hazardous rise of the blood bilirubin or the bilirubin pigment i hope this gives you an overview of the newborn jaundice feel free to reach out to your pediatrician for any further queries stay safe thank you